stress is a choice, so is inner peace. Welcome to another episode of the Get It For Show, right here on TVB TV with me, your host, Daniela. The show is probably brought to you by Access Media Institute and Alice Beauty Parlor. My hair and makeover is by Alice Beauty Parlor. Contact them on 0532 394 Salut, bonjour à tous. I'm Erika Josia, a proud former student of Arches Media Institute. Thanks to Arches Media, I achieved my goals and my dreams have come true. And today, I'm working as a journalist with the Pan African TV, Africa News. To you who have always dreamt of becoming a great journalist, I will recommend to you only one school and the best one. Artist Media Institute. With more than eight years of experience in training journalists from several countries, including Congo, Gabon, Kenya, and many more, Artist Media is the private media school you can really trust. Artist Media is located in Accra, Ghana. You can call them to the number below your screen. Artist Media, integrity with professionalism. That's what's saying on. We are live on the Get It For Show, where trending issues are saved. Hot, 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 and hot. I'm Daniela, training today. Yang Boate, daughter of the late founder and general overseer of Resurrection Power New Generation Church, has declared that her father's funeral will come off as declared. Her views posted on social media came at a time the widow of the late clergyman has secured an injunction against the funeral slated for this month. In a video cited by TVP TV and shared by Gossip24, Yang wearing a white dress with a portrait of her late father cautions that whoever is seeking to block the funeral is being for the work of God. You can't fight the church, and what God has said is final. Nobody can stop the funeral. I am telling you, I cannot come on social media and talk my mind. God has asked me to warn those that want to stop the funeral. If you want trouble, then venture, she said. A high court plays an injunction of the funeral of the late clergyman, whose funeral was slated to be held on Saturday against 5 2023. The injunction was secured by his widow, Reverend Mrs. Margaret Wachi. Moving on to our next trending story for the day, Bulgaria, the blind historian, has advised former trade minister Alan Tremanti to bury his presidential ambition as it is impossible to achieve it. According to Bulgaria, who spoke to Kofi TV in an interview monitored by mynewsgh.com, it is easier to raise the dead than for Alan Chamanti to become the new patriotic party flag bearer. According to Bulgaria, apart from raising the dead to come back to life, the next most difficult thing is for Alan Chamanti to become NPP flag bearer, he told Kofi Adoman. Refreshing the mind of viewers, Bulgaria said Alan's written and signed resignation in 2007 was the end of his political ambition. At the time, Alan Germanty was responsible for identifiable groups in 207 campaign team of the then flag bearer of the NPP, Nana Ekukwadu, who went ahead to lose the 2008 election to end the CIS attendance. Alan Germanty is currently gunning to become the NPP flag bearer for the 2024 election. So our last trending story for the day, a law firm identified as DPA has confirmed that Yud Odoche's first wife, May, has filed for a divorce. In a statement on Facebook post on Tuesday, August 1, 2023, the agency disclosed that the actor's first wife has also sued him and his second wife for adultery. That's not all. She is seeking an amount of 1 million naira in damages against Judy for adultery with her husband. Per report, Yud and his second wife, Judy, are aware of the lawsuit and have received copies of them via email. However, the law firm has disclosed that the court bailey has tried several times to serve them in person, but to no avail. In addition to the substantive petition, may also filed for an order of the court restraining you from assessing their former matrimonial home. That application is based on the fact that there are genuine security and safety concerns. Yu's behavior has been erratic, irrational, aggressive, and increasingly threatening. He seems to have been under some influence, the full extent of scope of which we are yet to ascertain. 
By measures are being taken to protect May and her children. Those measures are proportionate to the truth. The statement stated. That's all for today on the Get It Hot Show right here on TVP TV. I remain your lawyer host, Jenna. The show was probably brought to you by Access Media Institute and Alice Beat Follow. If today is your first time coming across my videos, kindly subscribe, comment, like, and share. Stay tuned for more updates.